Heath Hounds. Welcome back to Heath Hounds, episode 65. We head to the Meadows tonight for a 12 race card. Um, there's a nice little free for all in it as well. So let's get into things. Race one, I've gone with uh, box one. Um, I think the three um, will lead, but not sure whether it will be strong enough. So I'm going to go with the red. Um, it's drawn the rail. Um, it's a strong type and should sit behind the three early on and um, prove the stronger type um, over the distance. So race one, box one, um, sure zany. Uh, race two, I've gone with box one, propelled. Uh, began fairly at Geelong and copped a huge check, but ran on nicely for fourth. Um, it's drawn the red here in what's an awkward sort of race because uh, the two leaders probably won't be strong enough. Um, there's a few on the outside that I don't know where they're at in terms of what they're going to do. Um, and the two inside dogs um, could run all day, but um, probably need a bit of luck. So I've gone with the red propelled. Um, should sit in a nice position um, to run down the likely leader who will probably be the three here. So race two, box one. Um, we've gone with box one to open up the two, first two races. Race three, I've gone with box two, little critter. Um, uh, this is a young dog on the rise. Um, he has a big engine um, and will be suited, much better suited to the 600. Uh, with a low draw, it allows him to hold the rail and uh, hopefully avoid any trouble that will happen out in front. Um, as being a 600, Ben Start um, it can usually be trouble early, so hopefully he misses it, sticks to the rail and um, can prove how good he is. Uh, race four, look, I found it a bit hard to pick the winner here, so I've gone a bit wider. Um, I've got a Quinella play here. Hammock, the seven, will be in the money here. Um, he's a class runner. He was probably a bit of a moral beaten last week, um, and if he can get clear running, um, I think he just wins. Um, the eight probably relies on the seven. And if the seven misses the kick, it will probably lead and um, can run a nice race out in front. And the five, Reddick Bale, who can come from behind or lead this, um, it's his daily training trained and they love to have a winner on a um, Saturday night at the Meadows so look for race four I've gone with five seven and eight in a Quinella race five I've gone with box seven king of clips so another one who was huge um, last week he ran second and um, was probably deserving of the win but um, was fairly unlucky Webleck Ranger um, is probably going to lead here uh, he needs to lead here and um, he'll need to have things his own way in order to win. So I just think King of Clips so, um, should be near the front here and um, prove too good while uh, the rest are either inconsistent or some are getting on in age. So uh, for race five, I've got my box seven, King of Calypso. For race six is my value bet. Um, I think there's many chances here. Um, there's a few class runners here, but I've gone with the six each way, elusive fly. Um, he's at $51 for the win and $7 for the place. He was really good last week, and I can see him getting the card across with Stout Manali. Um, and I think if he can sit behind Stout Manali, um, he should be able to hold his own and um, definitely a huge odds place um, play here in race six, box six, elusive fly. Race 7, I've gone with box 4, Amron Boy. Expect to bounce back here after he didn't have much luck in the maturity. Uh, with a slow beginner on his inside and zipping Tesla, um, I think he should get the run here and uh, bounce back after what was an unlucky maturity um, run. Race 8, I've gone with box 3, Aston Velvet. Really liked his dog over the distance. Think he could probably find the front early on in here, and once he finds the front, um, I think the rest will probably uh, find it hard to run him down. So race 8, box 3, Aston Velvet. Race 9, I've got two plays here. Um, the two, Mapunga Webb's been running well. Um, was really good last week and should relish the step up in distance. Um, we should see it at its best. Uh, the... A Aston Suzette can run, um, just like in a bit of confidence at the moment. Um, both are worth a bit of a play here. Race 10, I've gone with box 6, Rebel Riot. Um, has Blister in early place, and I think he can probably cross and lead and um, went out in front. We should see him running near a PB, depending on what the track is like. So uh, when he's out in front, um, the rest will be having something to catch. Race 11, I've gone with box 5, Jackpot Joanne. Um, look, hasn't shown its best form in Vic, uh, but ran okay when it was up in Adelaide. Um, it is different classes, but look, um, if, I think he, if he can just land anywhere near the front, um, he can run out 500 not too badly, and I think he's a good each-way bet. 
um, if even money is offered for the place. So, look, race 11, box 5, jackpot Joanne each way. Race 12, to round out the night, I've gone with box 6, cardigan girl. Um, we'll be running for a bit of luck here, but with the draw, expect the red to be the clear leader. I'm um, not sure whether it will be strong enough here, so I think cardigan girl, if get some luck and clean running, um, could probably run over him late here. So to for race 12, to round out the night, I've gone with box 6, cardigan girl. That's it for Heath Hounds, episode 65. Hopefully we've found a few winners um, Best, uh, my best bets for Cannington um, are also on the big three podcasts over on the Greyhound Insider. Best of luck on the punt tonight.